everyone I am back welcome back to my channel to do a recently read and currently reading kind of video if you didn't see my previous video I uploaded a library haul future TBR video I guess you could call it but this video is going to be books that I recently read and then books that I am currently reading and um, a couple of books in my like upcoming TBR. So I hope you guys enjoy. My recently read pile is, I only have three books in my recently read. I have one currently reading, Future Reads. The first book I'm going to talk about is Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. I couldn't finish it. The page, chapter 20. And I just could not, I could not finish this book. It was not interesting to me. I don't find myself jumping to read it. Um, I, I just, it's not, I'm not hooked with this book. So I had to put it down and I'll pick it up in the future if I feel like it. But for now, it's just not being read. The other two books that I have are Emma's Pepper Siege was so good. It was by Patrick Ness and illustrated by Rowena Kai. And wow, this book is so good. I gave it four out of five stars. I'm going to retract what I said. I gave it four out of five stars. The only issue that I had was that the, the world that they're in, she like talks a lot about swimming down into the abyss, which in her world, the abyss is the sky like our world is her abyss so she talks about swimming down into the sky and I just had a hard time kind of keeping track with the way her world works it has illustrations in it which are very cool boom just like big beautiful illustrations um it is it's kind of written a lot like A Monster Calls, also by Patrick Ness. And I love this book. I love the relationship between this book about actual physical whales who hunt men. She kidnaps a man and their kind of like friendship is really cool. This book is very short, but there was a lot of character development, which I really enjoyed. The next book I read is probably my favorite book that I've read so far. It's not like of all time obviously but like that I've read probably in the last few months for sure for sure and I read Imaginary Friends by Stephen Jabosky. I read this book in four days this book is 700 pages I read this in four days and I absolutely I fell in love I love Christopher I love his mom I love the sheriff I, I saw the end coming from like first 200 pages I saw the end coming but I still wasn't disappointed with the way it played out and I still wasn't disappointed with how the reveal and kind of I, you know I wasn't disappointed with it it is so scary it is so creepy it is so weird it is so well done I was super hesitant because I didn't love um, Perks of Being a Wallflower I was super hesitant to pick up this book by the same author like if you're unsure because Perks of Being a Wallflower like didn't set your soul on fire like it did for everyone else, this is absolutely for you because it is completely different. The next book I'm going to talk about is a book that I'm currently reading. I'm about halfway through and it is Grown by Tiffany B. Jackson. So I'm almost halfway through this book and I absolutely love it. Enchanted is such a strong, beautiful, well-written character to read from. She absolutely steals the page. She is beautiful. She's so well written. I want to, I want to stick my hand in this book and I want to, I want to take my fist and I want to punch Corey Fields in the face. Just punch him in the face. I don't like the other main character in this book. The way he treats Enchanted is gross and not cool. Anyway, please read this book. It is so good. Um, Enchanted, the thing that sold me is that Enchanted wakes up covered in blood. Um, Corey Fields is dead and the police are on their way. 
and it is about the events leading up to all of that, what happens following that event. But so far we're in the lead up and it is Tiffany D. Jackson, honestly. So to follow that up, I'm going to read Monday's Not Coming, also by Tiffany D. Jackson, because I'm absolutely in love. And this is about a girl whose best friend goes missing. Nobody notices until she shows up a year later. Um, and so I am super excited to start this book. This is the next the next book I'm going to read after Grown. That's what I want to read. This part's not belonging to, of course. I got this book today. So I'm so excited to read it. I'm so excited. But this is going to be the next book I read. I might even read it after Grown because I'm, I literally cannot wait for it. So I have this. And yeah, that is that's it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. It is going to be a little bit shorter. So I'm really hoping that I can keep up with the um, recently read and currently reading kind of videos. Yeah, I hope, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know again if you've read any of these books and what your thoughts were. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.